Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. This is Mandy from Mew Art Studio. And if you had enjoyed the last video about the penguin silk scarf, and today I'm making another silk scarf, it's different. Uh, because the last one, the penguin silk scarf, it's we make the design first, and then we outline and everything. And today this puppy silk scarf, puppies, it's very simple and we don't need to pre-design anything. Um, we just need to find the butterfly shape you like and get your color ready and you are ready to go to make this very spring um, colorful silk scarf. It's got a lot of different colors. As you go through the process, you will see um, it's very easy. Uh, yeah, it is really <laughs> easy. Let's okay, have a look at what we need. Um, kitchen towel, colors, soup dye, an empty jar for wash brushes, and some pen brushes. Of course, a silk scarf. So the first step is stretch the silk on the frame. Second step, outline the butterfly on the silk first. There's two ways to do the butterfly outline with gutta. One way is to just use, find a pattern or desire pattern and then freehand to just put it on. 
for this one uh, I print out this figure and lay it under the silk to trace it after I apply the um, butterfly we prepare all the color we need to paint this scarf at the start um, because if we stop in the halfway to if we don't have enough color to finish one flower for example if we uh, go and prepare the color and come back and the when the first layer is dry the second layer will leave a, a bad watermark but then sometimes once you get to uh, know the technique very well you can use those you can control those out light to make to make some shape to make the like uh, the shape change like this flower like this flower like a pattern petals but if you don't know this technique and then to start with you will uh, it will be quite difficult to control how much um, color um, to load or when to stop if that's make any sense if that yeah and so for another that, thing yeah. is uh, I, I did use a hair dryer I'm not sure if uh, you can see it in the video or not because I, I didn't check when I was painting so uh, for some flower I, I did use the, the hair dryer the hair dryer to create the uh, texture those outline one the flower this orange outline is dry very quickly with the hair dryer the soft edge one is not come uh, I didn't use the hair dryer for the soft edge just let it dry um, naturally so you can uh, by control the speed how fast you want your silk to dry you can control the, the shade of the color where it's darker when it's supposed to be like the shade darker and then the light um, you can have a play with that before you paint it on this on the scarf and this one is flat it just flat paint I didn't do any uh, technique or anything it just color and this one Again, I try to make it uh, have a little bit of the color, have a, the petals on the, on the picture have a little bit change on it. For freehand painting, very important how much color you load. Um, so I will, I will suggest you to start with, with, a, with a small paint brush and only load the top and then put the dot on the silk to see and then wait until it's dry and to see how big it becomes just to test the area how much uh, dye will cover um, the area uh, like I have some dots in there but it's this scarf is two maze three structures I say one is a butterfly it's a good outline and I didn't color it and I left it in gold and then the, the color the flowers the flowers pattern part the flowers in the, the middle of the flower the middle of the flower I didn't do it until the last you will find it out in the video and what else so the flower and those string as a background I don't know how to say in English <laughs> those but it's like a um, just a little guide to the background to to make the the scarf looks better. After you finish painting and then the final process, and then if you don't know what to do, please check out my other video, Twelve Steps to Paint Anything on the Silk Scarf. Okay. Okay. So that's everything I have today. And next time I will talk about my other silk paintings. Thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying this uh, painting, this puppy silk scarf. Bye.